When you mount an end effector, you have to configure it in the installation menu by entering the tool center point, orientation if relevant, payload, and center of gravity. To teach the TCP, tap the measure button and set point one. Put the robot in free drive and move the TCP to a reference point. Save this point and set point two. Move the TCP to the reference point again, but from another direction. Save the position and repeat with point three. The points turn green if they have been correctly set. If a point is yellow or red, set it again with greater precision. Finally, repeat for point four. When all four positions have been saved, tap the set button. The TCP position is calculated and inserted in the relevant fields. You can test the TCP by navigating to the Move tab and choosing Tool as the feature. Then use the TCP orientation buttons to move the robot. If the robot moves and the TCP stays in the same place, it is configured correctly. When you teach a TCP, it has the same orientation as the tool flange. To align the orientation with the direction of the tool, you can use the orientation wizard. Tap the Measure button and select Base or another feature of your choice. Position the tool so its direction is parallel with the positive Z-axis of the selected feature. Here, the base is selected, so the tool is aligned with the positive Z-axis of the base. Then tap the Set button. Orientation is calculated and inserted in the relevant fields. To test that orientation is correct, Navigate to the Move tab and choose Tool as the feature. Use the Tool Position buttons to move the robot. If the robot moves in the direction of the tool, orientation is configured correctly. Finally, you must set payload and center of gravity. This is done by moving the TCP to four different positions. It's very important to set this up as the controller actively uses the information to move the robot in a safe and controlled manner. If this is not correctly set up, you might experience unstable operation and protective stops, and you risk harming your robot over time. Click the Finish button and then Set Now. The end effector is now configured and ready for use. You can configure and save multiple payload and center of gravity settings and use them in your program as needed. For example, one for the empty gripper and one for the gripper holding a workpiece. To check that the payload is correct, you can put the robot in free drive. When payload is correct, the robot keeps the gripper steady. If the gripper moves, payload is incorrect.